Welcome back to the Online Education Success Series of the Explorations Learning Network. I'm so happy you're back because today we're going to be playing games. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson and this is the Explorations Learning Network. is awesome because we'll be talking about online learning using games, social networks, and other fun activities. Educators have been using games as a learning tool since the invention of the classroom, and online classrooms are no exception. In online classrooms, students solve crossword puzzles, play matching games, and even play a version of the popular game show Jeopardy to learn about all kinds of subjects. However, these simple gaming activities just scratch the surface of online gaming education. According to Professor Nicholas C. Burbules at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, online games improve technical skills and media literacy. They are also a great way for students to collaborate. Professor Burbules points out that educational gaming supports student-centered learning, learning by doing, and active learning, making the student a central part of the learning process. Many American households now have game systems such as the PlayStation, Wii, or Xbox. In fact, companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are banking on game centers as the system to deliver both entertainment and education. Educators and game manufacturers are exploring all kinds of fun ways to teach different subjects. Just a few simple examples, you can play games like Algebra versus the Cockroaches, learn to play the piano on your tablet, and play Power Up to learn about fossil fuels and global warming. You can also learn by exploring virtual worlds like Second Life. This highly interactive environment allows you to take on activities like wiring a house, operating a nuclear power plant, or exploring the ocean floor. The New Media Consortium, NMC, is a collection of businesses, museums, and colleges using Second Life to host their virtual campus with libraries, lecture halls, and classrooms. This three-dimensional world allows you to visit environments that are 100% user-created, a space where people can share information and ideas. Real-world activities like geocaching provide you with global positioning system, GPS, navigational skills, while getting plenty of exercise as you search for hidden treasure. Educators are using social media like Facebook and Twitter to expand the scope of the classroom. Professors like Alex Kiros at the University of Regina are using social networks to build global classrooms created by the participants. The power of social networks to affect real-world change became evident beginning in December of 2010 when protesters in Egypt, Libya, Morocco, and other countries began using Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to change the power structure of their governments. Game designers like Nintendo and Microsoft have opened up a whole new element of gaming education, interactive gaming systems. The Wii and the Xbox Connect make it possible for you to play tennis, snowboard, bowl, and participate in other team sports without leaving your living room. Schools, colleges, and universities are using these systems to offer physical education classes. Physical therapists are using these systems to help patients recover from injuries or to overcome atrophy that develops through aging. These systems are assisting wounded veterans, older people, and handicapped individuals get the exercise they need to stay healthy. Who said that learning wasn't fun? The Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age. <laughs>